we are going to start by creating a new canvas. And there's two ways we can do that. I already have Photoshop open and this is the start screen. So from here, we can pick an image that we've worked on in the past or we can go to create new. And I click on that and a new dialog box pops up. So that's method number one. I'm gonna close that. And then the other way is from here, we can go up to file new. Both ways take you to the same dialog box. In here, you have recent sizes that you've made. You might not have anything here, maybe a few standards. You can save different sizes. I have a 30.5 by 30.5 300 PPI image in here. These are what they consider to be standard photo sizes, standard print sizes, art and illustration, web, mobile. But what we're gonna do is go back to recent or photo, it doesn't really matter where we start because we're gonna type in what we want over here. So I'm gonna call this new canvas for preset details, new canvas. And I'm gonna type in a width of 10 and a height of eight. And the reason I'm doing that is our screens are horizontal, so I want the long side there just for this practice that we're working on. I'm gonna pick a resolution of 240, and that would be pixels per inch, not pixels per centimeter. So you want PPI, that's what PPI means, pixels per inch. We choose 240 because that's the size that inkjet printers work best by. So if you're going out to a print lab, 300 PPI, an inkjet printer, 240 PPI, and it doesn't matter how big or small your image is, 240 PPI is what you want. And if you're just going to the internet, a monitor, you want 72 PPI. Under color mode, we're gonna choose RGB color. That's what photographers use. Even when they're making black and white images, you use RGB. You see there's other options here. Bitmap is one color, grayscale is black and white, but you have more color or black and white variation in an RGB. CMYK is what they use when you print out magazines and books and business cards. And LAB color, well, I'm really not sure where in the world they use that, but we use it for a couple of techniques which I'll show you later in the semester. So we are photographers, we choose RGB color. For this project, we're gonna choose 8-bit. 8-bit is half the size of 16-bit and 16-bit is half the size of 32-bit. Monitors do not display 32-bit images, but you might be in the 32-bit workspace if you make an HDR image. 16-bit, a lot of photographers work in, and we will too, but for the online class, I'm gonna ask you to always turn your stuff in at 8-bit because it's half the size, and down the road, you'll understand why when you see how long it takes to download or upload stuff to me. So for this project, 8-bit is good. 8-bit has less colors than 16-bit. 16-bit has less colors than 32-bit. But our monitors, once again, cannot reproduce 32-bit. At least at this time. That's not to say tomorrow might not be a new day. So things change constantly. So everything I tell you today, just know it can change. So you gotta be up on what's happening in the world of photography. So our background contents, we are gonna choose transparent choose transparent and if you can't see this for some reason you can probably drop down there'll probably be a scroll button over here so just take advantage of that advanced options let's see what those are so we can actually pick a color profile here remember back here we picked a color mode we picked rgb color well srgb is the color profile of the internet and as i click down there we have other options in here we want to choose this one, Adobe RGB 1998. That is what our inkjet printers print out to. It has a larger color gamut than sRGB, which means it has more colors. Some people are working in Profoto RGB, and that's fine too. It uh, does not necessarily print out all the colors, but in the reality, you probably won't be seeing it anyways. But let's just choose Adobe RGB 1998. That is the photographer's standard for printing. And then you have pixel aspect ratio. Well, we are photographers, so we are going to pick the square pixel. So choose the square pixel. These are for video, the other ones. So if you're in the video world, it might make sense to choose one of those. So at this point, you guys, we are ready to click create. And there is our new canvas.